I'm admitting this is selfish and this is personal. Christmas is actually ruined for me this year. What's up, family? I'm Tommy. I'm Aurora. Welcome back to Vlogmas. Tis the season to be. Grr, 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 grr. <laughs> Fa la 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 Tis the season um, Hope you guys are enjoying these Vlogmas episodes I hope you've seen them all so far and we're gonna keep going with them right the way through to Christmas Day So guys, today I'm off for the day so I'm happy that I'm home with the family but our Shazzy is not feeling too well today She's got tonsillitis, she's got some sort of head cold going on there's multiple things going on she's on antibiotics she ain't feeling well so you might not see our shazzy today but she's all right guys she's just resting up in bed and she's been leading a lot of the vlog the past few vlogs anyway so it's probably about time i stepped up and handle this team for you guys you get me guys yeah nothing too crazy crazy plans today i'm just gonna try and get out of the house with the girls just keep them entertained i saw sharon's resting up recovering uh, i'm actually gonna try and do a video for my other channel my food channel so please go and check that out at Tommy DMO, I do food reviews. Um, I do like a little bit of family content in there as well. So I think you guys will like, especially if you guys are foodies, you guys will definitely enjoy the channel. So please go and subscribe to that, check that out. And I will be making a video for that channel today also. It is another amazing, amazing day here in the UK. He's being sarcastic. Gert, 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 gert. But I don't moan about the weather, guys. You know me, I'm not one to ever moan about the weather. So I won't moan about the fact that it's raining miserable, probably freezing cold. I'm not gonna say anything about that. I'm not gonna say anything about the gray skies, the yeah, rain really and how much. But guys, on a serious note, I don't know if anyone gets the same thing as me, but a lot of people get it here in the UK. I do get seasonal affective disorder. I think so anyway. I feel like the weather really gets me down. And this time of year when you get up and it's pitch black, it's cold throughout the day. It's normally gloomy and dull. And then by four o'clock it's dark. It does get me down. The weather does really affect me. <laughs> Christmas is obviously a great celebration. I think it's the time of year for me that personally gets me down, but I don't want to bring too much of a negative spin on it, but I do need to address something, guys. I need to address something for you guys. So, guys, on a serious note, for very selfish and personal reasons, I'm admitting this is selfish and this is personal, Christmas is actually ruined for me this year. Like, no cap, Christmas is ruined. I'm not a Christmas person. Last year we decided to get the heck out of the UK and go to Abu Dhabi and spend Christmas in the sun, which was amazing. I loved that. I loved just being away. And it made it made me actually feel more festive because I knew we were getting away and we were gonna be escaping this weather and enjoying a bit of sunshine, being able to sit by a pool on Christmas day. That was amazing for me. That's just what I wanted. This year, I had plans to do exactly the same thing. Shazzy, didn't. They didn't want it, they just wanted to stay home and have a regular Christmas, which I was quite surprised about because Sharon's always like moaned about staying at home for Christmas. She's always been on the same page as me, wanted to get away, <laughs> wanted to spend Christmas in the sun. And we did it for the first time ever last year, so I thought she would definitely be on the same flex, but she was up front and honest, like, I don't really want to do it this year, I want to just stay at home, I just want to chill. I was like, okay. I'm I don't know, I wasn't really taking her serious, to be honest. So, basically guys, I went ahead and I actually booked flights this year for us to go away. So the plan was we were gonna to fly to Atlanta, Georgia and stay in Atlanta for 24 hours and then we were gonna go on and fly to Miami. So obviously that would be a dream come true for me to do that at Christmas. I just went ahead and did it. I went ahead and did it. Sharon wasn't really feeling the idea initially, but to be honest, I'm gonna be completely honest, I just completely ignored her. I thought if we booked the flight, she's gonna be like, ah, oh, that'll change her tune, she'd be happy. She'd be like, that's amazing, we're going away for Christmas, but no. It did not go down well. Did not want to go. She wasn't changing her mind. She was not backing down. She was like, I am not getting on those flights with you. So I've just paid for these flights. I'm like, we got to go. I've booked them now. I've paid for the flights. We got to go. She, I was like, no. You should have consulted me about this first. You should literally, you shouldn't have booked this holiday. I'm not going. I don't want to go. I don't want to get on a plane. So I'm like, damn. Like, I'm feeling really, really down, and I'm feeling really, like, I'm feeling, I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little bit hard done by, guys. I'm feeling like, to start with, I'll be honest, I'm feeling like the family being ungrateful. I'm, like, literally paying for them to get on a plane and go away. So, we kind of, like, I don't know, me and Sharon was, like, weren't really seeing eye to eye for a good few days over it, you know? I was feeling really, really hard done by, but having reflected a bit, a little bit of self-reflection, 
and I need to take a little bit of self accountability here because she did say she was upfront and honest that she didn't want to go away this year and I went ahead and did it. So upon reflection, I feel like I shouldn't have done it. I should have just respected what she thought and not just gone ahead and booked the flights. And to be honest, yeah, it was quite selfish. It's, it's my dream. I'm the one that wants to go to Miami. Oh, no. I've been wanting to go to Miami forever since before the pandemic, I booked Miami and we couldn't go to the pandemic. Um, it's just been my dream to go to Miami. The family are not really bothered. So I guess I was being selfish. I I'd guess rather, I, I'd rather go, go to Dubai again. I, I maybe I shouldn't have gone ahead and booked the flight. So we kind of like, we've ironed it all out. And I actually ended up canceling the flight. So we're not going obviously. Uh, I got most of my money back, not all of it. So I, I've lost out a little bit of money, but most of the money back. Um, I did say to Shazzy, look, if, if I cancel these flights, can we please just consider going sometime in the new year, not too, in the not too distant future, because it is a dream of mine to go to Miami and also Atlanta too. I'd like to go to Atlanta. So I'd love to tie the two things into one trip. Um, yeah, I want to go to Atlanta for the food content, basically, and obviously I just want to go to Miami because I want to go. So I'm praying that I do get the opportunity to go, and I want to go with my family. I don't want to go by myself, or, you know, I could go with a friend, but I really, if I'm being completely honest, I'd love to share these experiences with my family. So I'm praying that opportunity comes. I'm praying that our Shazzy does, will come with me, basically, and Aurora too. Aurora probably doesn't. Only the reason... Only the reason why why I want to go go to America is is go to Target. That's the only reason. Target. Because uh, there's, no, target. there's it's no Target in the UK, guys. So it's worth visiting the America for Target, I think. That's that is literally the only reason why I want to go go to America. No, no other reasons. To be honest, Target's definitely not the reason I want to go to America. But I'll take you to Target if we go. I'll definitely take you to Target. In fact, Target, can you please sponsor us, please? Can you please pay, pay for a flight for us and we'll come over and we'll, you know, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? That's why, for selfish reasons, Christmas is ruined for me, but it's not ruined really because I get to spend it with my family. And the most important thing about Christmas is I get to spend time with my family. Like the business shuts down for a good week. Um, it's just it's just me and the family, so I am kind of looking forward to it now, guys, anyway. I just got done doing my food review for some Nigerian food and it was pretty banging. Make sure you go back to Tommy DMO and check the, the food review out. We're going to go and do some Christmas shopping now, guys. Not really. We're not doing Christmas shopping. We're actually going to Pound World so Aurora can spend it's not, it's, some pounds. It's not, it's not called Pound World. It's Pound Land then, bruh. Pound Land. There's a Pound Land here where everything's a pound. It's not. It's all cap. <laughs> so here we go. An amazing Pound Land. Pound Land or Pound World? Pound Land. Pound Land. Sorry. Let's go get it right. We've got clothing. We've got crisps. We've got noodles. So what are you actually looking for in here then, Aurora? Cheap toys. Yeah. Cheap toys. I mean like Christmas pajamas for four quid. Maybe we could get some matching Christmas pajamas, Aurora. Twelve quid though. Daddy. 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 That's the tenner for the set. Daddy. Yeah. So we're all here. She's been to our shop, she's got a slime. We're actually in JD now. And Aurora's like not letting me even look around. And my toe really hurts. It's always the way of Aurora, yeah? It's always like, we go to my shop first, yeah? Get what she wants and then as soon as she's got it, then she wants to just go home, straight away. She don't want, want Daddy to look around. Look at all this dope stuff, look. Nike tracksuits, North Face. All, this is... all of this stuff is really, really boring. It's really boring. Just clothes. Not for Daddy, it's not. Look, look at Daddy, look. Daddy like the, likes the drip. But he just could. Daddy needs the drip, all right, bruh? You need to recognise that Daddy needs to be like, I'm a, you want me to be a cool dad, right? So I've got to keep my drip game on point. Go, 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 go. Family, it's later on in the evening. We actually got back home safe and sound with the kids. I'm just uploading the video that I did for my other channel right now, which is probably going to be out before this one. Uh, so go and check that out, trying Nigerian food. Anyway, let's go, let's go and check in with the lady of the house, see how she is. How are you, lady of the house? I'm not the lady of the house. No, I'm, I'm playing. You're the, the, the child of the house. No, and Araya. And Araya, all right. Here she is, her first appearance of the vlog. I'm sick. I'm, why are you so close to my face? Because you're sick, you know, you need to go foot close to, to show the sickness. No, I'm, I'm 
fine now. Earlier on, I was I was terrible. Okay, but you're feeling better now, yeah. I've literally been making sure that I've topped up my medication every four hours because I think when you wake up, I think I was it's like six or seven hours without medication, so I was feeling it. So yeah, so I'm I'm just oh yeah, I haven't been in this video. That's why I'm not feeling well. It's been up and down though, isn't it? Like some days I'm okay and then some days I just get really run down. Honestly, have you noticed every time he's from ill, he's always so sarcastic. He doesn't, he's just so annoying. At least like I've taken the kids out. I like put them to yes. bed and everything last night. So I have been on out. Yeah. I might not have been personally attentive, but I'm taking the kids out of your hair. Yeah, so. and that's fine. But I'm saying your sarcasm. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll tell you what happened there, guys. Is that funny? <laughs> so guys, I've left I left the laptop uploading my video to my channel and Araya's just skipped over to the the laptop to try and press the buttons and sabotage it. She hasn't done anything luckily. But I've actually got a really bad back today. I've woke up on my back, I don't know if I slept awkward or whether it's just I don't know what it is, just general back back problems that I get. But I'm, I've actually been in a lot of pain, so I got up really quick and it hurt, but I knew I had to get over to the laptop. Yeah before Araya got hold of it. <clears throat> so don't forget to subscribe to all of our other channels. Daddy's channel, Tommy DMO, my channel, Aurora DMO. And also don't forget to subscribe to Mummy's channel and her podcast channel, um, Being Transfigured Podcast. We'll see you guys at a similar time tomorrow night for another Vlogmas episode. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Mm -hmm.